Well, that's going everybody. It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Come back. We're going to be talking about shotgun mics, what I dislike, and what I have found that we're going to try and see if it works. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So we want to talk about shotgun mics. Now I use a shotgun mic on top of my camera. Great audio right now. Um, if you forget the dead cat and the wind's blowing well, you're kind of SOL and it's going to be kind of crappy anyway. But one of the problems you run into with shotgun mics is this. So I turn the camera and my voice all of a sudden gets a little lower sometimes quite a bit lower until you get back in front of the mic so the purpose behind the shotgun mic is its radiance is picking up straight in front of it a little bit to the sides but almost nothing to the rear i mean it just barely picks it up so what i'm fixing to show you is what i'm fixing to start trying and we'll see how this sounds so i believe the answer to my problem with the um, microphone is going to be this right here this is the movo double mic it's a dual capsule condenser microphone uh, it can be used with uh, cell phones tablets and of course video cameras as you can see right there so how this thing works is it's a double microphone has a front as you can see here and a rear now you can actually turn the rear off and have just the front or you can turn the front off and have just the rear or you can have it in between and that way both microphones work at the same time which is probably the way i will use it the most now if you're using it with a cell phone there is a switch for that. If you're using it for the camera, you switch it to that, which is what I have done. Now the way it comes, and I do like this part, the cord is already attached. Now that could be a problem down the road if you have to replace cords. But it also has where you can plug in headphones so you can hear what's going on out of the mic. I'll never probably use that feature, but it is cool that it's there. That way you can kind of monitor yourself as you're talking. Um, now, what else comes with it? Well, you get this case. You get two foam surroundings to put on it. As you see, front and rear. Of course, when you put it on the camera, this is the rear. This is the front, as you'll see there. Um, I've gotten pretty used to using it already. I've, like I said, I've done, gone out with it once. And then you've got dead cats to go on either end also for wind. Keep the wind down. Um, so what I want to do real quick is we're going to cut to a scene where I took it to a, our local city park and we tested out the microphone on the camera. All right, guys, so we're testing the Movo mic outdoors this is the i do have the dead cat on i've got both sides on so we're going to see how the audio does uh, like i said i'm outdoors uh, so i'm going to turn it around so i can show you where it's city park here uh, right up that way is the main park itself that's one of the little league football fields that goes to the city greenway and then over here kind of cool they have the city garden uh sitting here which is really cool. I like how they've done that. Um, but there's a creek that runs length of that right there. And uh, anyway, main thing is I'm testing the mic, see how the performance is from the rear. Uh, like I said, the shotgun mic is based forward and rear on this particular microphone. Okay, so drop down below what you think about the audio so far from this microphone. Uh, I am using my lapel mic right now on this video, but you, as you've seen the park video, I was shooting with this, uh, using this particular microphone. And this is 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check one out for yourself. Um, let me know what you think of the audio out of this thing. I thought it was pretty good. Um, nice and clear, 
clean. Um, you know, I, I didn't think it really um, picked up any unnecessary noise, maybe. Uh, the first time I shot the scene, there was a uh, big airliner went over and I had to reshoot it because that was loud and I didn't want that in my video. But anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to test this thing out a little more. We're going to use it on some more adventures and stuff coming up. And I just wanted to see how that would work as far as when you turn the camera away from it, are you still getting good audio? So let me know what you think down below. Uh, if you want to try one for yourself, link will be down below if you buy it. Remember, if you buy it off of Amazon, you're not charged anymore, and I'll get a little something out of it. I would appreciate it. That's it for this one, guys. Be prepared. See you on the next one.